Well, hello. Really just trying to find a equilibrium of how to go about this. Everything in its own way, I guess, is just so distorted, just so whatever you want to call it. Everybody's got their own time and reason. My biggest issue and my biggest problem with everything and everybody is that I know for the most part that we're really not that stupid, but at the same time, it is so easy to allow ourselves to go upon this path of just pathological fucking arrogance. And it's easier to just let ourselves go upon that and go day to day, event to event, and just let it be what it is. And I know I'm getting a little philosophical here, a little bit this, a little bit that. I'm sorry. But, you know, it just really hurts my heart when I come to think about, you know, so many things that we're told and so many things that are allowed to know. It's such a fraction of what really is reality. And it just, it hurts my heart to know that I care so much for everybody and everything that everything affects. Like, it, it breaks my heart sometimes. And it's like, I know I'm looked at like a complete psycho moron to a lot of people. But what's funny is, the people that actually listen to me, and know who I am, and actually give, you know, half of a second to come to know me, God bless you, thank you, and I really appreciate your comments, I really appreciate everything you give, and not say, that I, I don't ask for money, not to say me giving, or getting any money. But what you give to me is your comments and your love and, you know, you helping me to not realize that I'm just 100% 51-50. Which we all know, anybody that is halfway awakened and halfway open-minded is kind of almost 51-50 because everything is so insane that the average person could not even come to understand or be able to deal with what life really is. And that is a, you know, horrible thing for us to have to deal with. You know, I really, truly love all of you that follow me. Please leave comments, because just so you know, probably at least half, if not more, of the comments that are left, and the likes that are left, are taken down and removed. I'm not joking, I can make a video. And I know they're really on me before it even gets to that. But I can make a video and it has 40 views, you know, in three hours, four hours, five hours. And then all of a sudden it has, you know, 50 views, this, that. And then all of a sudden I come back and look at it the next day and it has 30 views. I'm like, wait, what the, what, what happened on that? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Well, yes, it makes sense. So, please, you know, just because you leave a comment, just because you leave a like doesn't mean it's going to come through. So, please just do it. And just, and I know how it is. Look, if you make a video and you get literally 10 likes for every 100 views, you are kicking ass. Like, seriously, that is a very good, like, you're like, yeah, yeah. I have videos that I have 43 views, 40-something views, 30-something views, where I have 8, 9 likes, thumbs up. I'm obviously over the target, and if anybody understands that, word time, understanding, whatever the hell... You get the most flack when you're over the target. I'm over the fucking target in so many fucking ways they hate me. It is what it is. But my whole thing is, I don't expect to get out there to 100,000 people, to a million people, or anything like that. 
I know that what I'm doing, I'm trying to get out towards the people that really matter and hopefully that God somehow makes it so they can see what I'm trying to tell them. I in no way do I consider that I am anything. But in every way, I will promise you that I am trying to show you towards the way. I am... I, I am nothing. I truly am. The only thing that I am is somebody that's trying to show you as much truth as I've been able to find to propagate what truth that I have for you. Because I... I'm only a vessel that is trying to give you what I know. No more, no less. And I can't say that I'm always right on what the heck that I find, but I can tell you that every time that I put something out and put something down, that it is through the path and the ability of me feeling like I've found something that you deserve to hear and see and recognize. I, I really... um I really just, I fall on my face. I fall on my face towards you from our Lord. And I beg of you to open your eyes and do your own research and realize pretty much everything you've ever been told in your life is a lie. And once you can come to understand that, you might have the ability to come to understand what you can do to change it and to spread truth to who you may be able to spread truth to. I'm not trying to tell anybody to change who or what they are, but what I am trying to tell people to do is take some time and energy and find out some truth for yourself. Because no matter what, you must understand when people talk of, well, if God is real or this or that, da da, da well, hey, what do you have to lose if God is real? What do you have to lose? Nothing if you went upon him. But if you went not upon him, and he ends up being real, what do you have to lose? That is something you must think of. Something you must understand. I promise you, if you take your time and your energy to try to find God, and try to find your way, you will find something inside of you that enlightens you and embraces something that you've always wanted and needed. I promise you. Give the time and the energy and you will find what is inside of you that you deserve. God bless all of you. Amen.